income. So we are constantly bombarded and reminded to be productive, always working, taking off as many things as possible from our to-do list. So I honestly think that there's a very thin line between the healthy productivity and the toxic productivity. Sometimes the difference between the two, it's very unclear. So I got COVID last week. After three years of not getting it, so during my week with COVID, I did nothing really. I binge watched TV show, I read a fairly amount, and I slept. I slept a lot, and I still am sleeping a lot. It's incredibly weird for me to sleep that much because I struggle with getting enough sleep because I don't sleep well during the night, so I might even sleep seven hours, eight hours, but those hours aren't very good quality sleep and I would wake up extremely early both because I couldn't fall back asleep or because I was willingly putting myself through waking up early because I had to be productive, I had to do so many things in the morning. So yeah, dur during my sick week I even slept 10 hours and again I'm still sleeping a lot but the thing is that I am getting good quality sleep now and I am sleeping in. You know, I used to wake up at around 6, sometimes even earlier, and the latest I would wake up was 7. Now, <laughs> 7 is the earliest. The thing though is that if I wake up at 8 late, I have to rush through my morning routine. While I was sick, I was like, oh, I definitely need to like get back on track. I need to do all these things, you know, by 9 a.m. At the beginning, I was kind of like, oh my God, I'm wasting my time. Instead of sleeping, I should be awake doing things. So a few days ago, I was well enough to get some things done. And by that, I mean cleaning my room and making my spring vision board. <laughs> That's that. That's all I did that day. And for a moment I felt extremely guilty because I felt like I wasn't doing enough. I was wasting my time, I was watching a TV show, and in that moment I asked myself, why? Why was I feeling guilty? Most importantly, what I was feeling guilty for. I also saw a post on Pinterest that was like, you should switch your mentality. If you, if you spend a day only watching TV or only reading, the first thing that you think is I haven't done anything the whole day, which is not true because you read, you watched a TV show or you watched a movie, you rested. Maybe your body needed that. You listened to it. You actually did things, even if they're not like what people expect you to do in order for you to be productive. With that, I realized that if I'm being extremely productive, I am not listening to my body and I am not doing things because I want to do them, but I'm doing things because I have to do them and I have to check as many things as possible off my to-do list. Otherwise, I feel like a loser. So I thought a few months since I basically finished university, I felt like I was running after time, you know, I was trying to catch time. Um, I felt like time was slipping through my fingers, you know, I couldn't bear the thought of wasting time when in reality time was running after me. I was in this loop where I was craving time. If I was craving time, all I could think about was oh my god, if I sit down for five minutes, I'm wasting five minutes of my day. If I'm doing this, I'm wasting two hours and I, everything that I have to do needs to be put in a certain way that allows me to do everything. I was literally building my days in order to waste as little time as possible, which always ended up with me wasting time. So now that I no longer have COVID, I decided to start living a little bit slower than what I used to. Honestly, try to enjoy the little things. Let's make time to do things that makes me feel good. But even right now, there's this little voice telling me to be productive, to check off as many things as possible for my to-do list. So the idea was to write down everything that I want to do and then choose 
a few of those things according to how much energy I have. For example, today I'm filming this video. I want to take a, a nice shower um, and I want to write at least like two pages. So these are the things that I am prioritizing today. So yeah, that's it. Let's see what's gonna happen in this few days of me trying to slow down. I've been in Rome for three weeks and all I've done is learn a few Italian words and eat. You feel guilty because you are American. You don't know how to enjoy yourself. I beg your pardon? Americans, you work too hard. You get burned out. Then you come home and spend the whole weekend in your pajamas in front of the TV. <laughs> That's not far off, actually. But you don't know pleasure. You have to be told you've earned it. But an Italian doesn't need to be told. He walks by a sign that says, uh, you deserve a break today. And he says, yeah, I know. That's why I'm planning on taking a break at noon to go over to your house and sleep with your wife. <laughs> uh, we call it uh, dolce far niente. It means uh, the sweetness of doing nothing. There are masses of it. Dolce. Dolce far niente. Dolce far niente. Good morning, it's the next day. Yesterday I really enjoyed simply living the moment and doing things that I wanted to do in the moment without kind of forcing myself to do certain things because I had to. And this morning I woke up extremely happy. It might be because it's spring, the sun is out, I don't know. But yeah, I really felt like I am ready to kick ass this day and I already filmed a TikTok and I'm about to edit it. I am gonna go on a walk with my friends this afternoon and I feel great because I'm not following, I guess, a to-do list and I don't feel the pressure of completing that to-do list as quick as possible. But at the same time, I'm kind of being productive. I'm doing things that I enjoy doing and I don't care how much time I spend on them. It's a very weird feeling that I'm not really sure how to describe. It's kind of the freedom of choosing what to do during the day because you really want to and not because you have to and most importantly not because you have to be productive to show god knows who that you're being productive that you are checking off everything from your to-do list and i really feel lighter and not pressure to do anything i am simply doing what i what I'm feeling like doing today. It's an amazing feeling and honestly I hope it lasts and I'm, I'm gonna be able to keep going like that. <music> Never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like a one-way. Gotta make the right choice.